Now we're gonna actually make something. Uh, I've got this disc sander over here that I've had for a while and the switch burned up on it. So I ended up just kind of hot wiring in a standard universal rocker switch, but it would be nice to have a plate for it. So that's what we're gonna be making today. And um, over here, we've got a small plasma table roll around set up. We've got our sheet metal already set up with the three inch square we're gonna be making and the center line marks. This is the rocker stencil and the square stencil. We're gonna be using the outside of this. So two inches larger gives us a three inch outside cut. These are also 380 size stencils because this machine actually needs one of our conversion rings in order for it to actually work correctly. We've got a uh, edge clamp style clamp for our table. Uh, just slips on there real nice. We're gonna start with the rocker switch cut out. And so this, we've got our center line marks, just lining up the center line to the center line. We do have these edge marks in case we wanted to do an edge layout. And then we'll just clamp that down there, make sure it feels fairly solid. It's not gonna move on us. And then we'll grab our machine and like to start with an angle on it for piercing, just like that. Then we'll take a quick little break and we'll pick out anything that's in the way. That looks pretty good. Put our put back away. Now we'll go ahead and make a cut. I like to do half and then the other half. That looks like it cut through all the way. Right here, my cut got a little wonky, so I'm gonna come back and make a second pass on that. Just a real quick little... There, that cleaned that up a little bit more. So that should hopefully be a fairly tight fitting slot. Now, we'll switch over and we're gonna use our square stencil center the center lines on everything just like that and then we're gonna have to reposition this guy move this clamp out a little bit more because in order to make the cut like i want we're gonna cut, cut like this and like this we're kind of off the end of the stencil here so just kind of free cutting here Good to use that post cut air to blow anything away. The plasma table here has got water down there and the water doesn't splash much until you just go freehand over it and it will still splash a little bit, but it does a really good job of cutting all the stuff. So there is using a square and rocker switch stencil to make this little guy right here. Now we'll go ahead and clean this up. We're gonna drill a couple holes. We sanded the edges, drilled the holes, and, I, and we're all ready to install. I want you to come and see this though. We have not done any sanding on this here. That's all just the plasma cut edge. And now, Normally, I would paint this uh, before we do a file in install, but you don't have time to paint right now. This is just a wet rag with WD-40 on it. This is the same stuff that we uh, coat our stencils in. They come oiled, so it'll help to prevent rust. And um, I do recommend you to oil those periodically to prevent them from rusting. So here is our uh, rocker switch, and I think we're actually gonna install it this way. So let's put this guy in. That's a pretty tight fit right there. Try to get that in first. See how that one clipped all the way down there and we'll push it in. Hey, look at that. It went all the way in. Look at that. It's nice and flat in all the way without even touching it. You could see how it scored up here. It's a tight fitting. This is a tight fitting slot right here, which is good because it makes your rocker switch look real nice 
when it's all said and done. So we'll go ahead and we'll just plug this thing in real quick with my super awesome electrical tape covered that is fully OSHA approved right there. It works. Hey, look at that. Couple minutes, couple plasma stencils. We got ourselves a cover plate for a rocker switch. That'll be nice. Okay, next, uh, we'll see what we can do next.